All right, hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, all I really wanted to show you was the way that I EDC my uh, Leatherman Wave. Um, I do have two of them, um, both for different uses. Um, so let's start with this one. Um, I had this holster made for me by a guy that I worked with. Um, he's actually now the uh, sheriff there in the in the town nearby. And, uh, so yeah, let me show you this. This guy did an amazing job. Um, it's got a little bit of a cant off to the side, uh, which, you know, that's exactly how I wanted that. Um, man, super awesome job with stitching, with everything. Um, got my initials on there. And it fits so snug. I mean, perfectly. You got the, just a little bit of a clip in there. It goes on the belt. Um, now I, I wear this one every day to work. Um, I work in an office, so I don't really ever have anything, you know, that I have to get dirty with or anything like that. But, um, you know, I, I always have this with me. Um, and this one looks a little better. I wear this one to church, that kind of thing. Um, but, man, super awesome holster. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Sandy, for that. And, um, yeah, man, so awesome on there. So let me go on to my, um, the one that whenever I feel like I'm going to have to go and, um, and get, get dirty or get, you know, under the, I don't really need it under the car, I guess, but you know, anything that, <clears throat> that I just don't want to get my other holster dirty with. Um, this is the one that came with my Leatherman originally. Um, so what I've got, first of all, I've got the one with the, uh, I put the clip on there. Um, I did do a little bit of let lettering on there. That's kind of neat. I thought it's kind of cool. Just some fingernail polish in there. But, um, anyways, this is the one that I found at the, uh, at the pawn shop. Uh, I paid five whole dollars for it and, uh, cleaned up real good. The guy didn't actually know what he had. I, I felt kind of bad giving him five dollars, but, eh, it'd be okay. He won't lose too much off of that. So, um, inside of here, I have the extender. Um, cool little tip these don't come with a pocket clip but it kept falling out I kept losing it um, if you get a pin tail pencil you won't be able to see that written on there it's on there but there's no way my camera will pick that up a pin tail pencil will clip on there perfectly nice and snug good pocket clip um, man that made a world of difference trying to keep it in this thing and not let it fall out and all that. But yeah, a pin tail pencil clip will fit on that extender, no problem. Uh, the next thing that I keep in there, I keep the uh, Maglite Solitaire. Um, super bright light, and it, it's got a good focus and everything. Um, it just it fits great in there, too. <coughs> Sorry about that. The other thing down over here on this side, I keep a, one of the mini Sharpies. Um, it doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose. You know, it is good. It will write on most any surface, that kind of thing. But I just kept it mainly because I like to have something to write with and it fits. So why not? Um, but the last thing that I keep down here or back here are the, uh, is the bit kit. Um, I love this thing. I, in fact, I use the T6 that's on here, right here. And T8 to take apart knives. Um, in my knife uh, disassembly videos, you'll see that a lot. But um, yeah, I mean, this is this is how I uh, what I carry in my kit uh, every every day. Well, I say every day. I carry the leather one every day, but this this kit in particular, I carry if I know there's something that I'm gonna need to um, I'm gonna have to work on. I'm gonna have to fix or or get dirty with, and I don't want to mess up my other holster. Um, let me know though if there's something that you guys carry in yours that's different or that you that you prefer or anything like that. And um, especially flashlights. I'm, I'm a flashlight nut. Um, that one's perfect for its size and, and the power that it puts out. But let me know if there's a, something a little bit better that I can put in there. Um, or a better holster even. This one, it's a great holster, but <laughs> I don't feel like it'll last all that long. Um, this is starting to get stretched out a little too here, but yeah, definitely. Let me know what uh, what you guys carry every day, and 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 if there's a better 
Now, it's going to be hard to beat, but let me know if there's a better multi-tool. Um, the Leatherman Wave can do, I'm convinced it can do everything. Um, there, I, I've never put it up to a task and not had it do whatever I told it to do. Um, and this spits here. But yeah, let me know if, if there's something that you that you feel is better. Now the surge um, is essentially the same tool. It's a lot bigger and it does have a, a saw blade and that kind of thing. Um, so I do know about the surge. That one um, I haven't ever used that one, but I, I feel like that one would be just as good. Um, probably not better <laughs> size wise, that kind of thing. But yeah, these are um, this is how I rock my ADC every day with that Leatherman Wave and. Y'all let me know, you know, if there's something that y'all use better. And uh, y'all have a good day.